I'm here with my dog, Corey. How you doing today, man? man? You gotta dap me up. Hey, nah, you know what I'm saying? I thought you were pointing. Nah, <laughs> nah, we were doing both. Hey, right, listen, well, I got it. I got you, bro. Of course, course man. we appreciate I'm feeling good, man. It's my wife, Carmen. You know the wonderful, the luck. Like, yeah, be very sure, official man. with it. But nah, yeah. man, it's not me. It's not about us today. It's about you, man. The music. First off, you know, like we spoke off camera. We like to be 100% transparent here in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Be, Just from seeing y'all's story. Cause I used to do YouTube myself before radio. Oh, you know right. what I'm saying? So I know what it is when y'all explaining, like, you know, it's a real job. People just think it's sweet. Yeah. You just pick up the tablet. You're like, oh, we ended it. But it's yeah. really a lot that nah. go into it. It's a business, man. It's, it's like, you know, you got to have that business mindset. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Run it. For so, sure. You know, a lot of people don't understand that. And that's what I'm trying to teach a lot of people now. So mm -hmm. right now I'm on a wave now I'm teaching all my black people, like my black uh, uh, supporters. You know, just because these are our people, you right. know, we are left out on a lot of shit. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Knowledge and information. And everybody right now just trying to find that easy way out mm -hmm. because they don't know all the other ways to make money mm -hmm. that, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's what I'm on. I'm just trying to teach you everybody. Most definitely. And I feel like that's what it's about. And more specifically, I talked to my dog, Wiso. If y'all don't know Wiso, he's the GOAT. He's the one that put this all together. But okay. manifestation, big. I know that's like a big thing for SSG and the whole thing. Big. It's like, I try to tell people, you know, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still a young cat, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's better coming from, you know, How people you? Like you got, I just turned 21. Okay. You know, my mama said I've been like 21 for like three years. Now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> on the low. On the low. But yeah. I just turned 21. But it was like, I used to watch y'all, DDG, the whole nine. It was like, it was like y'all gave people like me, especially like in Atlanta, like, okay, it can be done. No, like, it's not far-fetched. And then it's like, to transition, like, from YouTube to music, from yeah. radio, from YouTube to radio. It's like, you can do whatever. You can do whatever you put your mind to. And that comes with manifestation, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's crazy about that, because that's what... Me and my whole team, like, you mm -hmm. know, like people just look at us like, no, we at home and stuff, bro. We outside in the backyard. We having meetings, you know what I'm saying? Right. We in the Bible. We read 369 Project, you know, teaching about manifestation mm -hmm. and um, learning how to love yourself and understand that you can do whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And be whatever you want to be. So right. it's, it's important, bro. Man, like, people, it's it just not taught. So yeah. a lot of people don't know about it. Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm pushing it because, like, I feel like you got to know about it. Right. Bro. Like, y'all don't understand, like, how powerful we are as humans, you know, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So that's what we are. That whole aura. And so break it down. A lot of people, y'all might not know, but I did my research on, on Brother Man right here. So you worked at an auto body shop before all this. So I actually grew up with my dad. Right. Working at an auto body shop. He mm -hmm. painted cars my whole life. So as a kid, you know what I'm saying? My dad, he hustle like no drugs. He just get mm -hmm. up every morning and go to work like a man. Get straight to it. Get straight to it. No excuses. And that's what I grew up seeing, you know, when I was a little kid. One thing about it, I couldn't just sit around and just play. Mm -hmm. If I'm outside, I gotta be working. Get it done. You feel me? I can't sit and play a game with my dad outside working. I gotta be outside. Mm -hmm. and if, if, if I don't like that, mm -hmm. I gotta go back home on my mom. Straight like that. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. That's, that's hard. How it was. That's, so, hard. You know, that's that. That's that mentality. You feel me? That was my job. I worked there my whole life. I wouldn't. Even, I didn't even consider it a job at the time because it's like. It's my dad, man. I just get up every day and work my dad. Right. You feel me? I get paid, whatever, but she helped me get my first real job. Crazy. Yeah. So how was that? Like, were you like, Corey, come on, like, you gotta get this. <laughs> or was he was was he willing? He was like, come on, let's do it. Well, it was because him and his dad are kind of fell off. Uh-huh. So at that time it was like I was the only one with a job. Mm -hmm. So he basically told me, Hey, just put a word in and mm -hmm. if it's a spot, I'm down, I'm down to work. A real one. Like, yeah, I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's hard. And then next thing you know, we start working, and that's how it really started. But see, me. the crazy thing is what people don't understand. Before we even got that job, I already knew I was going to be rich. I told her. I mean, now, talk about it. Because it's like when I met her, she was actually going to go to the Navy and everything. Mm. Really? Air Force, I, I don't know why I always say Navy. I don't know. <laughs> Air Force. Listen, I mean, but she was going to the Air Force. That's crazy. Yeah. like she, you know, So what made things change? Like I made her quit her job. I mean, I made her quit that dream. I basically told her, I was like, look. We had just got together. Mm -hmm. Literally, she told me, she, oh, I'm going to go for three months. Put it to the train. And I know you were having it. You oh, like, what? Oh. You better listen, leave me. Listen, I didn't need a lot. I'm going to be dead serious. Mm -hmm. At the time, knowing who I was, I'm young and dumb, man. Mm -hmm. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I ain't dumb. You out like, here. Like, you like, let's go. Like, I'm outside. Yeah. You feel me? And I met her. I'm like, I knew my past. I'm like, man, listen, if you go, I know for a fact I'm going to end up finding somebody else. Right. And I want you. So mm -hmm. you need to stay. And I told her, whatever I, said, I gotta do, I mean, no, I mean, <laughs> lifetime contract. And I told her, like, if you stay, I'm gonna make you rich. Yeah, that's exactly what I told her. You know what I'm saying? And, um, I, and then once I felt my dad, you feel me? It was just like I needed money. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time for shit. Mm -hmm. I'm in school, still. That's feel what me? I need. I graduated on 25th, May 25th. She helped me got the job a couple mm -hmm. days before I graduated. I was there for six months. I said, this ain't it. And I made her quit that job too. <laughs> now look, you also <laughs> mentioned before. You said you posted a picture. 
right? Yes, yes I did. And you said June second. That I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna be doing this. September uh, 18th, I post that. So 16th, uh, 18th, I post the house, and I told him, I said, this is where I'm gonna be. I said, this is where I'm trying and go be in the next five years. Mm. I said, I'm not letting a soul in my way. I promise. And then I did everything I said. Now, talk about when you first was like, okay, YouTube is what I'm doing. Because y'all hopped on the wave early. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, when yeah, yeah. Everybody want to walk around here with their phones. Like, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm They were calling us weird, bro. They was laughing at us, joking at us, saying we was going to make it. Right. Down in Alabama. You know that where we're from. Mm -hmm. We actually came up here. We had came down there. Really? Yeah, but yeah. I started doing the YouTube, bro. Um, basically, man, when I was in school, I ain't had no, I didn't know nobody. Well, I, I was on YouTube, but mm -hmm. I had no clue what a blogger. You can make money on YouTube. Yeah. I ain't know none of that, man. You feel me? So when I found out, I was watching Dr. and Ken. Mm -hmm. Then, but I didn't even know they was getting paid. I was watching them because I was already in that relationship goal mm -hmm. lane. I was yeah. doing that. That was your forte. That's yeah, what you was I was already doing that. You know what I'm saying? My girl who was with my exes or whatever. Mm -hmm. So if I met her and then um. So I seen two boys with an Lamborghini, was, was, was Lamborghini, it was two white boys. Mm -hmm. Probably with the Dolby brothers, I don't know. And I said, they were 17, 18. I said, now how the fuck they, this they, they getting got, it done. They got this car. But then they, and one thing I mean, bro, I'm always like, the way I was raised, like, if I see you do it, mm -hmm. so that's all I need. Hey, that's all I need to know. That's it for me. It can be done for sure. Because if you did it, I tell everybody that, if you did it, you can do it. You know, people always say things is hard. Mm -hmm. And then hard until you learn how to do it. Bro. Most definitely. That just, it's, it's facts. It's the simple Everything is hard until you learn how to do it. You, how you, you, how you gonna know how to do something you never learn how to do? That's dope. So I tell people that, man. And, um, so when I seen that, I was like, oh, okay. They, they making money out doing this on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I was on Facebook already going live every day, mm -hmm. doing funny print on little vlogs and print. Not vlogs, but like little skits and stuff. So I, I saw that and I transitioned my Facebook to YouTube. Mm -hmm. Now talk about the Facebook though, because I don't feel oh. like, you know, people just think it was that old folks app, you know what I'm saying, and your mama, your auntie be on it. Now, break down, like, how did you figure out, okay, Facebook, No, player, this is how you get up there. In school, I got, I got on Facebook like 2015, mm -hmm. young nigga. I grew up like on me, yeah, yeah. Vivo, you know what I'm saying, MySpace, yeah, yeah. all that, oh, nah. cousin, they was all on that, mm -hmm. so I was always seeing it. Mm -hmm. And then when I got in school, it, it, it was just a little trend for everybody. I mean, Facebook, we in middle school. Bro. Yeah, you don't even know what you're doing yeah, for real. Just on that typing, but I got everything though. Know, I got everything I posted, except for the shit I deleted, but yeah. I, I can go on my page and see. Way it, back. Whatever, I did it. Yeah. I went on there and screenshot everything. That's that, all, right. all the hate, I screenshot all the posts that I said I'm going to do this and do mm -hmm. that. And then we put it into my documentary, basically. You know what I'm saying? Go on Netflix. So right. people go see that. My whole life went on the internet. You know what so I mean? let's, let's talk about it. You're putting your life on the internet. You know, we about to get to this music, because if y'all don't know, my dog Corey, he, he, know, he let me hear a little, exclu a little exclusive. They don't drop to July 1st, you know? Yeah, you're going to let but, you hear a lot of other shit, too. Though. It's crazy. So, starting off early, what were some of, like, your musical influences? Because I know with YouTube, entertainment, that other third piece is music. A lot of well, people don't you, think bro, about that. Music been my whole, I, I love music my whole life. So let's talk about it. Been my whole life growing up, music always been like my... My escape, like you know, so no matter what feeling I'm in, mm -hmm. I can go to a song and mm -hmm. it, it'll quote me through it. And people don't understand how powerful music is. Once mm -hmm. you start reading uh, about the universe and everything, I get deep, bro. Like you know, nah, talk to us now. Yeah, I get deep, you feel me? Yeah. I get to read and understand because, like, I had went to a spiritual class, you know, what I'm saying, I don't. I learned about the uh, the, the three six nine uh, frequency, energy, and vibration. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And vibration is basically point like you know, like it's your um, your consciousness or whatever. Right. So. It got a lot to do with music. Mm -hmm. Music is like part of the universe. If you mm -hmm. understand it, you know what I'm saying? Three, 432 hertz, that's the natural sound. <laughs> See what I'm saying? But that's, that's called gym dropping, right? They yeah, you know what I'm saying? 440 right. is, uh, it's, it's an unnatural sound, and it was ordered by uh, a Nazi propaganda, propaganda uh, called J Joseph Bebbles or something like that. I know his well, name. You more like a professor. Are you, are, do you teach classes on the side, man? You know <laughs> this man was reading 30 books all the way here, nah, wasn't he? Nah, bro, I just started this all like two weeks ago, That's bro. crazy. Well, no, I've been, I've been You've been on it, but yeah. But I got, like, pulled into the spiritual world because I, I was just looking for something like, man, something, something missing. Mm -hmm. That shit changed my whole life, bro, like, like, a few years ago. And so, and I started reading these books, but I learned so much. And it was like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, with the music, bro, you know, since a kid, it always been with me. I, but I never think, thought I'd do it. So what <laughs> made you, because it's like, you know, you get to a certain point with YouTube where it's like, and I, you, you know, you talked about, you know, coming up with content ideas, then y'all being one of the first people to do it. And then you see your mama dropping a video like, man, give me my credit. <laughs> so it's like, when you got to that point, it was like, 
I'm the Drake of this. So the YouTube? Like what well, made you be well, like, okay, oh, let's I, get this I, music going? Well, with the music, believe it or not, I had uh, my first time in the studio, bro, was in 2019. Mm. I had the, I went um, in Houston with T Wayne. Mm. Shout out to T Wayne. He always been, you know saying, play a big part in my. Yeah. He was the one who brought me to his house to the studio, and I did my first song. Uh, I still, it's on YouTube. I never liked it, but everybody like it's, it's, it's cool. But um, it was bro. I, I I just went there on, to meet him. Mm -hmm. I don't know going to. Not studio. on the music tip. He just ran me into it like you should do. I'm like nah, man. I ain't even never thought mm -hmm. I'd do no music, and I did it, bro. And it was like, okay. I just kept playing with it for like two or three years. I, mm -hmm. I always said I'm not gonna take it serious because. I see all the other rappers. I'm the type, I sit back and watch mm -hmm. before anything happens. Which is important. I was just watching how everybody complain about the contracts, how they get fucked up in this. And so I'm like, I don't know the business of the, the music industry. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna jump into it right now. You can't be signed like no I, Drewski I'm not, deal or 360. I'm, I'm, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Could have been records. You have music, everything man. taken, man. Yeah, not nah, real, but you know, I, yeah, I've been, I just been paying attention to a lot of people because I fuck with everybody. Right. Damn near, bro. I, don't, yeah. I listen to a lot of music, so. I really don't do too much judging. They never been me. I never been that hating that type of nigga. Whatever. Mm -hmm. If I don't like some other music, I just don't listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. I ain't been going to do all that. So, but I like a lot of music, bro. So I'm cool with a lot of rappers. And I was like, it's about actually when she came down, Hink and my man, she came down like what two years ago when mm -hmm. I met her. And uh, I, 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 huh? Oh, three years ago now. When I first met her. I know you longer than that. But the thing about it, the thing about it, we knew each other, we met, but we we, we wasn't yeah. talking That's anymore. crazy. You never know how the universe is going to play out. And she just came to Houston and was like, oh, you need me. Have crazy. Me. Fuck. I ain't even lying. Nobody knows. She ain't know to this day. At first, I was like, man, what she want? I was like, uh. <laughs> like, man, what's I going was, on now? Because I was busy. I was yeah, going, yeah, so I was like, going I was like, man, I got all this going on. She was like, I was like, all right. I was like, Someone just said, you need to go home. So I, I made it a priority to make it home. And man, she put me on game, bro, for two days. I literally, it was March 18th, I'm gonna be. I, when she left the house, after the information she gave me about the music industry, mm -hmm. see, I don't wanna just be an artist. Right. I'm gonna be the boss. Talk about it. And the CEO, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But you gotta start at the bottom to be the CEO. And, and I think I respect that. That is so. I'm gonna just get in and just mm -hmm. take over, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Then we come about I'm not gonna just get in and do it. Hit it and take over. Mm -hmm. Because I've been doing this shit for too long, like right, the internet. Man. So. Um, yeah, man, she left, bro, and I went in the garage. I never forget. I went in the garage, uh -huh. and I just got my laptop, started playing beats. I got my blunt. I put, put my phone and started recording. And I was freestyling. I didn't yeah. know who the fuck I was. Just I was out the dome. And then, oh, I got 200 songs right now. I was just playing them in the car, all freestyle. And we just go to the studio and, and create a song. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man, when she uh, came, man, and she had gave me that juice, bro, it turned me up. It was like, over with from there. Yeah, it was over with. So, let's talk about it. SSG. First off, I salute what you're doing because a lot of times I feel like when people get to a platform that y'all on, they don't reach back. A lot of people know how to influence. And they just, they look at me, look what I'm doing. So what y'all doing with the whole SSG, I salute y'all because a lot of young people out here, it's like, you can see it, but for somebody to be like, hey, I see it in you, come yeah, on. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, somebody did it for me, so, you know, why not reach back? I see it all the time. I Talk see, about I see it. a like, lot of talent in people, bro. Mm -hmm. um, Basically, man, I've been the same since I first started. You know what's so funny? I post my first YouTube video. I, I'm going back and I'm posting on my first, my old videos. That's just, hard. Just to show people. Yeah. In the first video I dropped on my channel, on my YouTube channel, I, I was saying the, the things that I say today, how I'm trying to help people, mm -hmm. all that. And you, it's like one thing about me, I have a lot of goals, bro. But you know one thing about time, you can't supersede time. No matter what you want to do, you, you can't do everything at one time. It's so impossible. It, it take time. So, you know, I always knew I wanted to be that guy like mm -hmm. that just help a lot of people, you feel me? Put a lot of people on chain lives. My wife tell y'all always been that person. I got fucked over a lot because mm -hmm. I got a girl. Right. I give a lot, bro. I give all these times. I was just going off this morning. It's like, you know, when people feel like, I feel like people can sense when you got a good personality. Yeah, in fact. Bro. They just gonna try to, they, gonna, they gonna fuck over just you. Just step on you. You gotta, you gotta really, I didn't see it first. I didn't, I wasn't, I was like, man, nah, I ain't gonna do that to me, bro. Yeah. You feel me, man? Shit. Turn around and be like, man. <laughs> I knew you was, yeah, you were no good. It happened so many times, like, nah, and she, and she the one who always tried right. to warn me. I used to, nah. So talk about it. How big of a support is oh, Carmen oh, for you? Oh, Just, this, you this, know, being there from the start, from the YouTube to the music, like. Man, nah, this girl, bro, we have been through so much, bro. It's like, even things that people don't know about, like, our relationship is just, it's not normal, bro. Mm -hmm. And congrats. Yeah, like, appreciate you. New son, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah, man, thank you, bro. Yeah, three boys, bro. So how is it? Three boys. I love it. I know the, the household is always something going on. Sit down! Go eat! Do your own work! I know it's always stuff going on. Talk about the family, Yeah, see, man. man. Now, the family is lovely, bro. Like, you know, um, my kids, they growing. You know, Carmen, she's like, let me tell you something, man. When I tell y'all I'm, I'm not sugarcoat, it's like, 
when it comes out to motherhood, yeah. you don't, don't, don't say nothing to the girl. My bad, baby. <laughs> That's how passionate he is. Yeah, don't say nothing to the girl. Like, she, bro, is, listen, one thing about her, bro, she going to take care of her kids. Yeah. Like, I guess where they come from. Yeah. I've learned a lot from their culture. Like, how they look, they love deep, you feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, so it's like, um, damn, I'm <laughs> Second time's a charm. Second time's a charm. <laughs> he passionate about it. He, he passionate guy. He loves you so much. You know, take your hat off. Listen, so, but nah, she, she definitely, uh, man, you know, I, we, we, <laughs> we've been through a lot, man. I mean, uh, I had a lot of learning to do, you feel me? Yeah. It's like, that's one thing we was really known for, too, in uh, YouTube. Oh, Corey cheated on Carmen, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, um, People don't understand with YouTube, bro. They don't. They, we are normal people, mm. and we go through things like normal. Cause we are like normal people. You know mm. what I'm saying? And one thing about me, bro, I'm not slut. I love the girl to death, but she know like, listen. I've been. I come from you and Springs out of them. I come from the bottom. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like literally on the fourth chapter lights in my city. I know where I come from, yeah. and I know where I'm going. Right. I'm not gonna let nobody get away with it. Right. I love her to death. I even tell her all the yeah. time, but I can't. And like, what's the point of me? What's the point of both of us falling for love? Like, That's true. Feeling, feeling in life for love. Like, we both. I'm broke, miserable because oh, I love her, and I just got unfocused, yeah. and I stopped doing what I was doing. Mm -hmm. So the times when we did go through things, we go through stuff. You know what I'm saying? I just be like, all right, cool. If it's over, it's over. And I'm, I'm the type of person I like comfy. Oh, gotta that, have somebody with you all the time. Because I have a girl with me. Oh, I like this girl. Like, yeah. I'm the type of person. I'm really cool. I, yeah. I like to have company. Right. You know what I'm saying? But bro, people be clout chasing. So talk about it. Oh boy, this is really from, from the YouTube to the music. Because you know, you, you ain't even really know YouTube. But now you know the way you came in here. You know, he, he said, "Hey, Corey, you know, I'm about to drop my single." I'm like, boy, you a rapper, <laughs> boy? You better, better go on now. I'm hitting the game, yeah. trade to this man. Nah, yeah, real clout, deal. Clout chasing real, bro. So and talk about it. Like, have you already started to experience like? Certain musicians, like, man, who do you think he is? You know, you can't come in our land or like talk about but it. But to be honest, um, it's like I, I'm cool with a lot of rappers. I'm cool with a lot of rappers. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I know all these rappers. You know who I am. Mm -hmm. like, the majority, they see me, bro. Right. You can't help but see me, bro. Right. I mean, obviously, guys, I, I know, need to get my shades, man. Well, I ain't even, I'm not even, <laughs> even about the appearance. Right. I'm just saying, bro, what I do. You know, I influence you, yeah. a lot of people, bro. Mm -hmm. A lot of kids know who we are, bro. Yeah. Like I tell people all the time, I be meeting OGs. I'm like, just call your, call your kids and your niece. Go, go crazy. Yeah, OG just called this girl, his daughter. He was talking, I just met the guy, OG, big time in uh, Houston. Mm -hmm. And we were talking. I said, man, he said, your daughter. I said, call your daughter. She started crying. She on the phone and started crying. It was like crazy. Michael Jackson was standing next to her. <laughs> oh my God, no, I didn't, God, no. I didn't expect that. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't expect that. But when she started crying, it was just, it, it was just it's like, surreal. it was ice on the cake. <laughs> he, was, he like, all right, son, I'm, I'm gonna talk to you. Yeah, it's get real, your like, number. You know what I'm saying? You know I went bullshit. Yeah. Like, I tell you, I'm all about, I'm all about that, that action, action speed line and range, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, and a lot of people be having me mixed up, confused on social media. Cause I tell you, bro, y'all understand, this is my, this is my career. Right. I know how to work this better than y'all think. I control a lot of people, bro. Mm -hmm. I, I post things and I make them think what I want them to think because I know the reaction and I know the numbers I'm going to get off that post. Like, when it comes to this social media, I'm like the goat on it. Like, I know the social media marketing off the back of my hand. Like, you got it down to a science. Oh, bro, listen, it ain't nothing but numbers. That's mm -hmm. all it is. You got to just know the strategy. You feel what I'm saying? You got to know the niche. You got to mm -hmm. know what. And, and she's right here next to me. That's another one. Man. We together. Like, yeah. one thing about me and Carl, when people laugh and they talk, but we like this. It's one. It ain't even two of y'all. Y'all done no, it's ingrained like so much. That's, That's why we be going in so much because we too much of a light. You know what I'm saying? You know what each other gonna say for <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're gonna say. <laughs> That's hard though. Yeah, nah, but so um yeah, man, I mean, I I've I've saw a lot of uh, I mean a couple of rappers that you know they on some and I mean that's why I made a post the other day. I said I said it. I said, mm. listen, nah, I don't know how y'all rock, I don't do that fake shit. Right, yeah. Nah. That's a lot of y'all I've been supporting. Before I took off. Yeah. And I don't ask for support. But I'm the type of nigga, just because I support you, I don't expect for you to support me. That's real, though. That's a lot cool. of people aren't like Cause, that. Hey, man, if I like your music, I can hear because I like your music. I'm not going to get mad at you because you don't like my shit. I fuck with your game, mm -hmm. but you know what I'm saying? But I just don't like the fake love. Don't fuck with me now, just because you see that nigga popping. Mm -hmm. Trying to come get something from me now. I'm not dumb, but I'm a YouTuber. But I just seen the most clout chasing shit ever. We just seen it all, bro. Yeah. Yeah, we just seen it all. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. That's all. That's all. That's how I respond. So to with it. that, and this goes to both of y'all, because like I said, you know, a lot of people don't understand. Like, I remember y'all was explaining, like, y'all was dropping ten vids a day, and like the work ethic, you know, not just with the YouTube. I know it's gonna transcend with the music. Like, please explain, Carmen. Please, you know, help with this. Like, what does it take? You know, work ethic, work, work ethic wise. Well, I can't even get it out. Work, work ethic wise, to 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 be able to 
obtain that success because a lot of people would say they want to do it and then be like, oh, yeah, you know, I made my YouTube channel, but I'm still working on it one video with my self, cousin. Self, 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 uh, self sabotage, bro. Mm. I call it self sabotage and not executing the plan. Mm. A lot of people make plans, but they don't know how to execute it. Executing the main important part because how you go get it done. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And the work ethic got to be there. Like, you got to see, I, so that's the thing with me. My, everybody tell me, my, my, my music, my manager, my, everybody, my dad, my granddad, they say, Corey, they say CJ. You can't expect people to be like you. You're not normal. Mm. But if you see me work, bro, I'm a beast. I, right. I don't stop. But they have to force me to go to sleep sometimes. It be like that. Because it's like, I know where I'm going and I know what it take to get there. So mm. I'm going to just do what it take to get there. So mm. with, with that, I got to stop you right there. When, Carmen, do you have to be like, boy, sit down. Like, how do you implement, like, the fun within the work? Because it, with looking me? at y'all from the outside, it's like, boy, they having a blast. No. <laughs> but they don't know when you cut the camera off. Y'all in it. Hey, you got that? We're going to film another one? So talk, like, how do y'all implement, like, the... It, it, it's fun. It, it's, it's like when, we're, when we first started, it was definitely fun. Because mm -hmm. everything was, like, content. Yeah. You know, we will have fun while we are working. Yeah. But it got to the point where we had to sit down and say, hey, we need some us time with right. no camera. Right, like, yeah. Everything doesn't have to be recorded. Mm -hmm. So at first, it was kind of hard to kind of separate what needed to be recorded and what not needed to be mm -hmm. recorded in order for us to still be us without mm -hmm. the camera. Mm -hmm. But with time we learn, and sometimes he still has that issue where it's like, oh, record this, record that, record this. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm enjoying the moment. Like, take a, take a step, man. I love you, yeah. baby. <laughs> also, like, when other people ask for advice when it comes to YouTube, mm -hmm. the first thing that I say is, you have to really want to do it. Mm. Because if you really just want to do it because you see other people, doing it. you're not really going to have the effort exactly. or the constancy to want to keep dropping videos. Exactly. You know? And I feel like that's what with us, like, we really wanted to do it and mm. we fell in love with it. So we just kept doing it. It's but a passion. Other people now it's like, oh, they're making money. I want to make money too. Mm -hmm. so they just do it. But that's, they that's are not the case, and that's with anything. I, like I'm, I'm really mad. Like I'm like, damn, I should have brought my book up here, man. You man, you should have. We would have had a whole um, read Corey time in this. <laughs> ain't even that, bro. That book, it's just certain things I give you. Send it to me, please. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna get it to you. I'm gonna let you. Uh, I'm gonna let you get it because I, I highly recommend it, bro. Mm -hmm. Change your life, like, just like that. I need it. I done changed like eight, nine people live with that book already. Make like, me ten, please. Literally, like, <laughs> make I'm me ten. About, like, literally, like, that's not hard. giving them a dime, bro. That's hard. Cause that's all you need. People yeah. don't understand. It's just bro, that's all you need. Just to you get the right knowledge bro take you off so but um nah but yeah man that's just that's something about it like no matter and like you have to 100 percent believe in what you want to be mm. and what you want to do and you have to 100 percent want to do it with a passion mm. if you don't you ain't gonna do it that ain't telling me right i give you a test to do and you and you don't know this test or whatever when mm. i fuck the test i give you a job right you make a hundred thousand dollars a year but you don't like to do it they, they, I don't want to do it. You, 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 yeah. In your inside, you don't want to do it. You know it makes a hundred thousand dollars, but you don't want to do it. You're not gonna put your all into it. That's true. You never gonna put your all in, into something that you that you don't want to do a hundred percent. So that's why I told somebody who was like, man, I'm tired of going to my job. I said, you, that's you the problem. If you tired of the job, why you still going? It ain't yeah, hard it to quit that job, bro. Yeah. And, and, and people say, well, I gotta find another job. Well, I'm, ain't no other job here in my city. Why are you still in your city? Leave your city. If you want a better life, you gotta go chase. You gotta go yeah. get it. It's not gonna come to you, bro. So talk about it. I was just about to say, say the R word one more time, Carmen. So yeah. and sacrifices. And talk about because you know, I, you know, you're a word of God. You're a man of God. Talk about like taking leaps of faith and maybe having yeah. that blindfold on and you like God, where I'm going. You know, you know the definition of faith is. I know. Well, you know one definition. I'm a good Christian now. I don't think I don't go to church. It's okay. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't feel bad. I know everybody got I their grew, own definition. I grew up in church, bro. Okay. No cap. Okay. But That's where the church. music came from there. You singing the choir. Yeah. yeah. I see how I do it. I knew it. I, I, it. I just sit there with him in the yeah. You feel me? I went in there. Ah. I saw him a couple times. Okay, okay. But nah, man. Faith is loyalty to the unseen reality. Mm. That's how you... It's, and it's another uh, definition, but in the book, it's a, it's a loyalty to the unseen reality. Mm. So basically what that means is, bro, you got to have loyalty to your vision. That's your reality. That's what you're going. If you vision it, you can do it. Mm. You can achieve it. When you, if you, if you, like I tell people all the time, everything that you see was created off an idea. What the fuck make you deep. think you got no ideas? That's deep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and a lot of people don't execute their ideas because a lot of other people tell them don't do it or they judge it. Bro, you sound like Steve Harvey. You know what I'm saying? I know because I, I mean, I just, I, bro, like, I'm living this life, mm -hmm. bro. You feel me? Like, and it's like, I so can. I take knowledge. I, I only hang around. Wealthy OGs. Mm -hmm. I got like three billionaires in my life, you feel what I'm saying? I'm cool with like yeah. this, they give me game, you feel me? So I be learning, bro, you know? So 
My thing is, I could be that asshole, learn all this, and just go off and out, of, out the country mm -hmm. and live my best wealthy lifestyle. And that's fucked up. I'm influencing, so I got to influence my people to come right. live the same lifestyle. And then there's a lot of information that I found out what's going on in the United States that we don't know. Black people, so like, oh no, I can't let that happen. Exactly. I'm not scared of nobody. Exactly. Bro. You know I mean? like, can't be a gay God. And I, So back to what you were saying, faith. You got to have faith, bro. You know what I'm saying? Once you believe in God, you understand that um, in in this world, you can desire, you can have, you can desire, uh, you can have whatever you want that mm -hmm. you desire. It, it can be, it'll be given to you. That's God. You see what I'm saying? But you have to 100 percent believe in it. And you got to follow that line with God, and you got to do what need to be done. Like for example, right? I do so much, bro. I give, I bless people, I talk about a lot of good stuff to people so much, but mm -hmm. I never look for nothing. At and all. I give a lot more. Mm -hmm. well, I would never receive from people. That does that get tiring. I swear, yeah. I feel like you was here this morning. We was just having this conversation. <laughs> I was literally just having this conversation. So like, not even tired of giving. Like, man, I gotta sit up real quick, because I was literally just having this conversation. Like, when you give so much, and you don't even think about anything in return, yeah. but people are always like, hey, great man, like, you know what I'm saying? Great Carmen. Like, where do you draw the line? And then, does it get to a certain point where it's like, do you feel like you're the bad guy when you like, right now? You know, you know, you know, you know what? Um, I met this other guy. He rich as hell too. He white, by the way. He, mm -hmm. And I told him, I said, man, I gave a lot. My boy said, yeah, man, I know. Poor, he always gives. Mm -hmm. Remember, I said, yeah, man, that's your problem. He said, stop giving. Mm -hmm. He said, don't give nobody nothing. Now you can invest in somebody. Mm -hmm. Cause see the difference from giving and investing. When you give somebody something, they're not gonna appreciate it as much as they would if they work for it. <laughs> but if I invest in somebody, I don't think I'm going to help you because you want this morning. That you want this more than I want it for you, mm. but I got I got the resources to help you get further. So I invest in you, mm. and we can win together. We can mm. build together. It got to be a two-way relationship. It can't be no me just giving you and I ain't getting nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm not looking for nothing, but I'm not gonna keep going giving you something. I invest in you. Mm -hmm. So now that's what we doing now. You know what I'm saying? All, all the people y'all see I'm signing, I'm investing in people. So let's talk about how did you find them? If people out there watching this interview right now, like, what do they have to do? To come across Corey Pritchard Jr. I'm, I'm, I'm that YouTuber, bro. I see everything. Mm. I don't think I'm. Now, I don't see a lot of my messages, and I'll get wrong because right. that's too many. But like on my page, when I'm posting, I pay attention to likes, mm -hmm. I pay attention to the comments, I pay attention to the shares. Mm -hmm. Now, I do go through DMs every now and then, but it be so many. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You get too much, time. yeah, yeah. But what stood out to me from the people that I've signed, bro, was just their character. I seen something inside them that I was, it was inside me. Like the young boy that I just signed the other day that came to my house, um, I seen him on Facebook always showing love to me. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I see him always showing love to me. Mm -hmm. I seen that he said that I motivated him to go get his truck license and he went and got That's it. That's crazy. He, he actually doing hot shot at 19 years old. That's crazy. So when I seen him, I was 19, bro. I was, bro, I'm grinding. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like even 16, 17, I was. I always was grinding, like, yeah, bro, I had too. my own lawnmower, couldn't, in my car, I, I come from, like, bro, listen. Yeah. Real life, go get him. Mm -hmm. And uh, when I seen it, I seen him post a video on TikTok, but it was on Facebook, he tagged me, and it was him loading the truck up, showing people how to load the truck and stuff up. I like that, because like, you, you never know who out here that want to be a hot shot mm -hmm. driver, but don't have the knowledge, and you giving there. that knowledge to them. Yeah. I tell people all the time, but I don't never think about not watching you, bro. It's a lot of people, bro. They hit me on a daily basis telling me how I change their life. And I ain't even met any people in my life. I screenshot. I just screenshot because I'm sure it, not a lie, like, look. You it, remember this? Yeah, the, yeah. this the information I'm giving out. I'm helping people change their lives. So I seen him and I just told him, I say, I'm the type of person, I'll give you opportunity, but if you fuck the opportunity up, that's your fault. All the thing I did was I come on the thing, I said, come to Houston. And then he, he came to Houston and then, um, bro, his mom brought him, I saw, I saw how respectful he was. Mm -hmm. and, and his mom, just in his parents, but really. You know, open my eyes. Yeah. Say, you can tell a lot by that household, Listen, man. I that's said, for sure. I'm going to do something for this boy. I gave him boy. I, I, I took him for a ride of probably five of my cars. I took him for a zero one, the Lamborghini, the track out. The all said, million of the cars that Corey got. In yeah, he said, he said his dream car right now is for Red Eye. He said he want a Red Eye. Mm -hmm. I got that. I was the first one, too. In 2022. Ah. I, I said, I, I got something for you, bro. Because one thing I live by, see it, touch it, obtain it. Mm. That's my. I live by you. Gotta see, see it, touch, touch it, it, obtain it. STO. Yeah, you, you put it how you want to put it. I just see it, touch I can it. Obtain. Get STO chain tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. That's see it, it, touch, it, it, it. touch it, obtain it. Cause That's it's the hard. realest shit ever, bro. I see it. I mean, well, I, I probably see it on the internet. Mm -hmm. But then, and then God will put you in, like the un whatever you want the universe to, it, it gonna bring it out, put you around. It. You should touch it. That should be your your proof. Like, mm -hmm. damn, I can get this. I tell everybody, bro, everything out here is for somebody to have. Just you gotta be one yeah. of the ones that can get it. Go get it for sure. <laughs> that's all it is, bro. You know. So I mean, I mean, that's that's all I'm trying to do, bro. And the girl, I seen her, bro, cause 
I seen the Shade Room poster, Kayla. Uh, the boy name was D-Dog. Mm -hmm. Kayla, I seen her. She made her first million up in merch. And um, I said, and I'm doing my merch. So I'm like, huh. But she on one. She on something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I know I got what she don't have. She need a YouTube platform. Why she don't got a YouTube platform? Mm -hmm. She can make way more money. Mm -hmm. I, I, need, I need help my merch. Yeah. Hey, you, come here. Yeah, <laughs> that. Come on. Let's, yeah, let's come get here. together. Listen, I'm, I'm going to help you out. That's hard. The thing about me, like I just told my guy, I don't care who I, who I help. If I put you, let's say you got clothes, right? Mm -hmm. And I like your shirt. Mm -hmm. Hey man, let me get that shirt. You gotta try to get it to me for free, I'll buy it. I, if I like that shirt, I'm gonna shout you out. I don't give a fuck if you make a million dollars. That ain't my business, mm -hmm. that ain't my pockets. I just wanted that shirt. Yeah. Thank you so much. Just cause it was real, it was authentic. That's how I am. Yeah. I, don't, I don't do nothing, I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's all genuine with me. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? So, but don't come try to beat my dough down thinking I'm just gonna do it for you because I did something. Just because, yeah. Yeah, I'm coming out my music, mm -hmm. single, uh, Super Soaker, shot the music video of my music. How you came video. up with the name? Is it because it's blazing hot? You know, they said we were competing with y'all in Texas now, and Atlanta's about 180 oh, degrees no, in this Texas thing. Is it's, bro, I don't know what's been going on, but um, now nah, I actually freestyled the song. I um, uh, I just freestyled the song. I was like, I don't know really. I don't know, how, bro. I got the freestyle. You do? I got the Say original I freestyle. It. I need it. And I then I got the song. You can be like, the song crazy. It ain't out yet, but by the time y'all see this, it will be. Please go get it. Yeah. I um, heard it, boy. Corey and SNG, man, we in the video. Y'all know Neil, man. Super Soaker. We came up with it because um, it was more of like a, a, a summer vibe. So and how long, like, how long have you been sitting on the song? Did you have? Did you make it when it was cold outside, or you was going to the no, studio no, when it was hot? I just did all of this in March. Like, bro, I started all this in March. Like, I got all my old songs on YouTube. All those songs on YouTube, they all old. They was all shit. They not mixed and mastered. Mm -hmm. They just something I was just doing for the fun. The music video, my cousin, my bro, mm -hmm. post on YouTube. Put I them never, out. I never promote it. I just post on YouTube. Like, I me. saw a couple of your highlights. I seen you had, like, a finito freestyle and stuff that's, like that. That's all just that's crazy. That's just, I, that's in Houston, just the small studio, just. Mm -hmm. now Let's do it. This, Why not? What we do? All this music right here is new music. <laughs> that's freestyle. Hard. And now, and so, um, yeah, and we super soaking. But I got, like, six songs. We're going to drop. Back to back. To that's back, already back, ready to go. Back. So yeah. you coming, you coming like a YouTube the baby, like you just coming out straight like that. Watch just you see, like, watch you see. Psh, ain't shit a joke, bro. And I know the visual's gonna be crazy, cause yeah. the oh, the, 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 the wait till y'all see the music video, the super soul. That bitch go crazy. Y'all gonna see me, you know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be all of your TV, radio, yeah, and, and they gonna fuck with it, cause it change lives. Also, we going to the hood. Turn the hood to the suburb. That's my big project. That's I crazy. I got a lot of shit behind man, we, me. Man, we going to see it. My <laughs> dog, Corey and Carmen, came through for the yeah. Hot 107 digital interview. Of course, it's me, A-Town, the most energetic entertainer, Manny Supreme. We appreciate y'all for coming. I appreciate through, you man. for having us. Always. Man, for sure, for sure. Hey, thank you. Thank y'all.